Hey guys, what's up? It's Avalance here with an episode of Ask Avi. Uh, it's I feel like I've been in, it's been forever since I've done this. The last one I did was last Friday. I uh, missed this one Tuesday and last Tuesday both because of computer problems. But good news is computer's back. Everything's working fine, so I'm able to do cool videos like these Let's Plays and play out the Steam games I picked up. Um, so for those of you who are new to the show, uh, Ask Avi is a bi-weekly Q&A show where I just simply take questions or topics that I want to talk about or questions that you've submitted via posting a comment below the video and answer them for you guys. Um, so one thing that I actually wanted to talk about today, and this is a topic I wanted to pick personally, is actually uh, the topic of collector's editions. And I, I bring this up because I actually just went and I pre-ordered my Watch Dogs collector's edition, uh, which is actually a pretty promising package. You get a statue, a mask, the collector's tin, stuff like that. Um, but the big thing is, and I'm sure you can tell, I mean, just based off of that uh, back there, I am a collector. I enjoy collecting video game oriented things. I enjoy collecting um, anything kind of nerdy and I have a good time doing it, but it can get expensive. And one of the big questions now that I like to frequently think about is, you know, is it worth it? Is a collector's edition worth it? And I really feel that right now, a lot of collector's editions are leaning toward a different direction. Um, Back in the early 2000s, you know, when we first started having these collector's editions and these special edition boxes and stuff like that, um, they really had some value to them because they were items that you cannot obtain later. And I think that is the significance that has been kind of lost. A lot of people now, uh, a lot of companies rather, will build these collector's editions, say it's extremely collectible and you need to get it now, and then they have a massive stock of them later. A perfect example is Blizzard, uh, Mrs. Pandaria. When that came out, they were pushing for collector's editions, um, and everyone was like, oh, we're, we're going to be sold out and all this stuff. And I was I was worried. I was like, oh, well, eh, well I, I'm not going to buy it. And I decided not to buy it. Um, I, I wasn't. I've been I'd been out of Warcraft for about a year and a half at that point, and I was like, eh, I really don't want to get back into it. Um, but I was working at Best Buy at the time, and a coworker actually uh, had me pick it up. But the ironic thing is, I picked it up two months after it came out. So. Thus disproving the, hey, collector's editions aren't available. And they often become available two or three months after or the next year at a discounted price, which I think is extremely interesting. Um, so the collector's editions, are they worth it? And that's a question. The price points on the collector's editions are going higher, and I'm sure you guys are aware of this. Um, typically, you'd be paying, you know, 80 to 100 for a collector's edition, but in the last year, we've seen uh, some bigger packages. It all kind of started again. As much as I hate to pick on Call of Duty more, I mean, it's true. Call of Duty started with those giant care package collector's editions, which have like an RC car or an RC uh, plane in it or whatever, and um, people are like, "Wow, people buy these, and we can really get money out of them." So. All these collector's editions kind of started coming about. Um, the Assassin's Creed collector's edition, I actually was asked by a couple of uh, friends and coworkers, are you going to pick it up? Because it was announced last week, and uh, the U.S. one, that is. And I honestly don't think I am. I picked up the Assassin's Creed 3 collector's edition. It was 125 And, you know, I had a good time with it and all that. But I wasn't sure if that's kind of what I wanted to pick with Assassin's Creed 4. I'm still nervous about Assassin's Creed 4. I'm also kind of broke. That's something too. These collector's editions are getting expensive. Um, there's a lot that I think are worth it. Some, not so much. Like the Borderlands uh, Borderlands 2 collector's edition. I got the ultimate loot chest. You guys can see it uh, right back there behind me. And I don't think that was worth my 150 bucks to be honest. The bobblehead was cool, but I can get them on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Um, and I think that really brings about this thing. If there's all these collector's editions, there's really not a lot of value in the collectible items. Um, one of the nicest ones I picked up more recently is the Bioshock Infinite Collector's Edition, which is up there to my left. And that one was fantastic because it was all designed by the Irrational Team. The Irrational Team did the entire collector's edition for Bioshock Infinite, which made it totally worth it. And I just feel like teams really don't put their own kind of... Uh, I guess ideas and feel into it. Um, people are just pumping out statues and uh, statues that aren't very high quality for uh, that fact. The Tomb Raider Collector's Edition, perfect example of that. The statue uh, was terrible, and I mean, I I haven't touched it since. I haven't looked at it. It's on my shelf, um, but the the quality of it was absolutely atrocious. And I paid, I think it was 120 for the Tomb Raider Collectors, uh, which I was like okay not really a fan right now so there is stuff like that and it's just like is it really worth it is that what we want to do who knows um 
So I think that's very interesting as well. Uh, but a lot of the collector's editions really aren't worth it. Uh, when I, with Watch Dogs, I immediately hopped on that because Watch Dogs, you have um, the hardback. I love the, the Steelbook cases. I absolutely adore them. Uh, they're fantastic. Um, I love collecting those. I have a ton of those, um, especially recently. The Last of Us one, oh, price, pristine. Um, but those collectible steelbooks are nice. I like those. I enjoy having those around. Um, the art books, I'm a big fan of art. I love reading over art books. I mean, I have video game art all around my room. I have some Elder Scrolls Online ones back there. I'm going to put some new ones up over there from Elder Scrolls Online and some new Mass Effect ones and 343 ones as well from Halo um, that I got to hang up still. Uh, but I, I do collect art as well, so I always enjoy the art books. They're great walkthroughs of basically how the game and the characters progressed. The Last of Us one, extremely enjoyable. Um and then I think the, the cheaper part that used to be cool is the statues. So you used to get like these really, really awesome statues. And I mean, for the record, they still look pretty good most of the time, but it's about all about quality. And that's something that kills it. The only decent quality statue I've picked up this year was the Bioshock Infinite one. The Tomb Raider one was absolutely atrocious. The Assassin's Creed one was a little in between. Um, and Darth Malgus from Star Wars The Old Republic was actually one of the nicest ones I was able to pick up in a collector's edition of a game. But it, it brings about this question, it, is your, is, are these collector's editions worth your 150 bucks? And that's something that I want to hear from you guys about. So feel free to drop me a comment. Tell me what you guys think of collector's editions. Do you pick them up? Are you like me? Or do you just kind of go on Amazon a couple months later and pick through what you want, which I also do. Uh, so feel free to tell me in the comments below. I'm really curious what you guys have to say on this topic. Uh, collector's editions, I feel, I bought a lot last year. I kind of wish I hadn't. And this year, not the biggest fan. So... We'll see. I know I'm buying the Watch Dogs Collectors. I have the Battlefield upped ones, so I get like a season pass and stuff. Because um, I love Battlefield, and I can't wait for Battlefield 4. But, uh, you know, are, are collectibles really collectible anymore in the video game world? And that's something that I kind of want to hear you guys' opinion on. So, guys, that's it for Ask Avi this week. We will return next week. It is Tuesday and Friday, and we're going to get back on schedule. I know I've missed two Tuesdays, uh, but Ask Avi will be back on schedule. If you have a question, feel free to drop it in the comments below, and it'll be on the next show. Uh, you can ask me about whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be video game related. But feel free to drop me a question. I'll be happy to answer it for you. Um, if it's something appropriate to talk about on this channel. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Ask Gavi, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I know I look gorgeous today. I have been out all day working, so I'm just in sweats right now. I'm doing Arena Gaming League 8. So, if you're watching this video uh, the weekend of July 19th, feel free to go check it out on twitch.tv slash Arena Gaming League. I'll be running the stream so you won't see me, but I'll be in the background doing all the, all the, uh, all the cool work. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday.